In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, welcome to this morning prayer. A time where we spend time with Jesus. A time wherein we express ourselves. A time where we can be our original authentic self in front of the Lord. Telling him exactly whatever is going on within us. And at this moment, as we begin this prayer, let us close our eyes. Today, first and foremost, let us thank the Lord for giving us the gift of this day. The Lord has woken up, has woken us this morning. We need to thank him for this gift of this day. Today may present to us plenty of opportunities. We may get opportunities to complete something that was pending. We may get opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. Or we may get an opportunity to look back at ourselves, reflect and grow on certain areas. And whatever activity we may engage with today, whatever work we may do, whatever good deed we may accomplish, we offer it to the Lord in this morning offering. And Lord, we thank you for the gift of this day. Lord, you have given us good health. You have kept us in your love. At every moment, you gaze upon us, you protect us. You keep us away from all kinds of evil and harm. You love us, Lord, unconditionally. And for this, Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We glorify you for all the wonderful things that you do in our lives, for all the blessings, for all the graces that you have bestowed on us. My dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we reflect on Psalm 5, as we meditate on this psalm, let us try to see what the psalmist says and let us thank the Lord all along the way for all that he has done for us. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sign. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I pray, O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice, in the morning I plead my case to you and watch. And therefore the Lord invites us to open up, to share with him all that we are going through. Sometimes we see that it becomes difficult. The going gets tough. Things look impossible. But we see that for the Lord, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. All that we need to do is place our faith and trust in Him. Are we ready to do this? Can we have faith and trust in the Lord? The psalmist continues, For you are not a God who delights in wickedness, Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. Our God is a God of justice. God treats everyone equally. And therefore, when we ask something, the Lord gives us. He provides for us. That is why when we come before the Lord during the morning prayer, 
we need to ask the Lord for all the graces, for all the blessings that we may require as we proceed during the day. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. In today's world, we see that there are so many elements, so many factors that tend to distort the truth. And therefore, when we face challenges in the world today, we need to rely on the power of God. Because He is there to protect us. And in the world, we may find various elements. Therefore, we need to be alert. We need to be aware of what is going on. We need to read the signs of the time. Only that will prevent us from being deceived, from being led away. Because constantly we tend to get bombarded with all sorts of news and information. Some may be fabricated, some may be true. <clears throat> Distinguishing between them is where we need to read the signs of the time. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels because of their many transgressions. Cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But, but let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. And therefore, let the Lord be our shield. Let him be our protection, our strength. And therefore, whatever we do, let us not be afraid because we know that the Lord is there with us. He is there to guide us, to protect us. <coughs> he is there to constantly watch over us. And therefore, let us place our hands. Let us place ourselves in the hands of the Lord. And as we begin the prayer, let us thank the Lord for the gift of life, for giving us all the skills, opportunities, talents, for all those wonderful memories that the Lord has given us, beautiful friendship, companionship. Lord, we thank you for all this. And as we continue on this journey of life, we ask you to be with us, constantly protecting us, guiding us in all that we do. At the same time, Lord, we also thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who have played a very important role in our lives. Now we see that these people have been instrumental in making us who we are. They have shaped us, they have molded us. And in a way we have become who we are because of their hard work, because of their time and effort. And therefore Lord we thank you for their presence in our lives and we ask you that you may bless them abundantly and give them all the graces that they may require in life. Similarly, we also pray for all those who are very instrumental, who have been there with us during those most difficult moments, who have always been a constant support and guide for us. 
Lord, we also thank you for all the opportunities that you have given us. Opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. Or opportunities to use our gifts, our talents for the common good. Similarly, Lord, we also thank you for all the experiences that you have given us. There have been those good experiences, happy memories, which we always cherish, remember. But at the same time, there have also been those memories which have been bitter, which have been difficult, tough memories, tough experiences. And Lord, we see that these have been learning experiences. They have taught us many things. They have shown us our shortcomings. And thus they have helped us to grow in those areas and become better individuals. These learning experiences have indeed enabled us to face the challenges that the world throws at us. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for giving us these learning experiences. Lord, we also thank you for your constant protection and guidance in our lives. Every time, where, whenever we have faulted, you have been there to help us, to guide us. Whenever things seem difficult, you were always there to lead us, to show us the right path. And Lord, we ask you to continue accompanying us, not only during those difficult moments, but at every step of the way, so that whatever we may do, it may be for your greater glory. At the same time, Lord, we also ask pardon for all those times wherein we have deviated, wherein we have gone astray, where we have not followed the commandments, where we have done whatever we wanted to do. We ask your pardon. We ask for forgiveness, Lord. Similarly, there have also been those moments wherein we have neglected the cry of the others, for moments wherein we have been selfish, where we have only thought about ourselves, for moments where we have not been good neighbors, Lord, we ask your pardon. And at the same time, we ask you to give us the grace so that we may be able to grow in these areas, so that we may not make the same mistakes again. Lord, as we spend this time with you, listen to our prayers. We offer to you, Lord, all that is happening within us. All our worries, our anxieties, all the doubts that we may have, all the difficulties that we have in our lives, we offer it up to you, Lord. We place them at your feet, O oh Lord. Lord, you said, come to me, all those who are tired, all those who are burdened, all those who are worried, and I will give you rest. We all long for the peace of mind. We all long for a happy life. We all long for our difficulties and troubles to disappear. And therefore, let us place everything in the hands of the Lord and let us experience this liberating effect that comes when we offer everything to the Lord. At this moment, let us also place before the Lord all our prayers, all our intentions. Lord, we pray for ourselves that we too may be able to follow the gospel values, that we may listen to the teachings and thus we may be able to live as one family by cooperating with one another, living harmoniously and radiating your love, peace and joy. 
We also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. Lord, we ask you that you may shower your abundant blessings and give them the graces that they require in life. We also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. Lord, give them good health of mind and body. We also pray for all those who are preparing for the exams, for those who are working on some difficult or on some important project, for those preparing for job interviews. Help them, Lord, so that they may be able to experience the fruit of their hard work. And Lord, we pray for all those who are sick, those in hospitals, those suffering from various ailments, those undergoing surgery, and those who are in need of your healing touch. Give them your healing touch, O oh Lord, so that touched by your healing presence, they may recover and return to a normal life. And Lord, we ask you to constantly be with us, guide us and protect us in all that we do. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Pope for the month of October, a church open to everyone. We pray for the church ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the gospel. May the church be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome always living in an atmosphere of synodality. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit 
and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left christ when i lie down christ when i sit down christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me christ in the eye that sees me christ in the ear that hears me amen the angelus the angel of the lord declared to mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we 
to whom the incarnation of Christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers O Saint Joseph I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen 
prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice 
pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us star of david pray for us star of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen prayer to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defenders in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude pray for souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today. for all 
the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friends the readings of today will invite us to live simple lives we see that by default humans have this tendency to accumulate more and more we always have the desire to gain more we always want to develop and in this process we see that we tend to accumulate more and more things and thus we also tend to make life complex in the process now we see that in today's world we are constantly bombarded with various kinds of things we see so many advertisements that basically make us feel that we need certain things and in this way we see that our wants are converted into needs and because of this because of this bid to constantly accumulate things we tend to neglect others we are only focused on ourselves and on what we want and therefore today jesus says that you need to live simple lives because only by doing so can you actually help in building the kingdom of god now today's first reading from the letter to the ephesians we see that saint paul gives instructions on how people can live peacefully in society now yesterday he spoke about the same theme of unity by giving the analogy of the husband and the wife how one is supposed to care for one another and how each one is supposed to look after the welfare and the well-being of each other in today's first reading we see that it is more to do with certain things that we often take for granted he tells children how they are supposed to respect their parents how parents are supposed to upbring their children and in this way we see that what he tries to create is a community of harmony a community of peace and joy the same thing also goes when he speaks about the master and the slaves he tells them not to exploit one another not to cheat and in this way we see that he tries to create a good environment an environment where people flourish where people prosper my dear friends this is exactly what the kingdom of god looks like a community where everybody lives in peace harmony and love caring for one another and if we take a look at such a community we see that if this is done if this is practiced half of the problems of the world can be solved but we see that humans tend to be complex and therefore in our complexity we complicate certain things today's gospel passage will focus on this simplicity that we all need to inculcate in lives jesus gives the example of the narrow gate now what is this narrow gate where is it well first and foremost it is in jerusalem where jesus refers to the narrow gate now at the entrance of the city there would be the big gate and besides it there would be the narrow gate now at night they would lock the big gate so if suppose somebody was entering after sunset they would have to enter through the narrow gate and that narrow gate was so narrow that only a person could fit through it if he had baggage then it would be difficult for him to enter and why was this done this was done for security purposes to make sure that nobody comes with arms and other things now when we apply this to our day to day lives we see that we often tend to carry a lot of 
emotional baggage we have some prejudices and various things by which we discriminate one another now it is only when we have this tendency to feel better than the other that we tend to compare ourselves we tend to discriminate etc and this leads to ill feelings now jesus also will speak about spiritual baggage sometimes we may be so much focused on rituals on customs and traditions that we actually forget to put into practice what jesus really says we forget to practice the gospel values and therefore if whatever we do does not lead us to care for our neighbor to look out for the well-being of others well it has not served its purpose and therefore jesus will invite us today to focus on simplicity therefore as we reflect on these readings as we prepare to welcome jesus into our hearts let us pray for this grace that we too may be able to live a simplistic life where we may be concerned about the well-being of one another and thus radiate the peace love and joy of christ in the world around us amen